we can use ratios to solve certain kinds of problems involving percentages. In particular, questions where we have to calculate the total from a part, or one size part from another part. To answer these kinds of questions, think carefully through. What percentage have I got now? What percentage do I want? And remember, the original amount is always 100%. Let's start with total from part. In a 20% off sale, a pair of shoes was sold for $45. What was the price before the 20% discount was applied? Now, the original price was 100%. But do I have the original price? No, I've got the price the shoes were sold for after the 20% discount was applied. So, what percentage have I got? I've got 80%, the original 100%, minus the 20% discount. OK, so let's set up a ratio to solve this. 80% of the original price was $45. What percentage do I want? I want the original price, which is 100%. So, how do I convert 80 into 100? Well, multiply by the new number over the old number. 100 divided by 80. So, multiply the other side, the price, by the same fraction. 100 over 80. You'll want a calculator for this. The original price of the shoes was $56.25. Now I know some of you are thinking, why did we have to do all that? Couldn't we just get 20% of the $45 and add that on to get the original price? Well, why don't we try that and see what happens. 20% of 45 is 9. 45 plus 9 is 54. Hmm, that's not the same as the 56.25 we got before, is it? Why not? Why didn't that work? I'm going to let you keep thinking about that. See if you can work it out. Just to prove to you that my first answer is the correct one, here's what happens if we take 20% of it and then subtract that as the discount. We get $45, which is correct. So why didn't that work the other way? The bottom line is this. Always ask yourself, do you have the original amount? If not, what percentage have you got? Let's try another example. Total from part. A retailer sells a fridge for $840 and makes a 60% profit. What did the retailer pay for the fridge? The original price was 100%. Do I have the original price? No, I have a later price. The price the retailer sold it for. The original price is the amount the retailer paid for it, which is what I have to find out. So I can't just get 60% of 840 and take that off. 840 is not the original amount. What percentage have I got? Well, the original was 100%, plus the 60% profit makes 160%. $840 is 160% of the original price. I need to find 100%, the original amount. OK, so I need to multiply by 100 over 160. 840 times 100 over 160 is, with a calculator, $525. The retailer paid $525 for the fridge. Can we check that answer? Well, what's 60% of 525? It's 315. And if we add those two together, we get back to $840. Good. We can also use ratios to solve percentage problems where I want to find out something other than the original amount. We call this a part from part problem, and they often come about from questions involving GST. Here's an example. 
A formal dress is sold for $255, including 10% GST. That's the standard tax rate in Australia. The retailer has to send the money for the GST to the tax office. How much GST was included in the price of this dress? Well, the original price was 100%. Do I have the original price? No, that would be the price before the GST was added. I have the price including the GST. That's the original 100% plus 10% GST, making 110%. $255 is 110%. OK, now what percent do I want? I want the amount of the GST, which is 10%. How will I get from 110% to 10%? Well, multiply by the new figure over the old. 10 divided by 110. So, multiply the price by 10 over 110 as well. And if you get your calculator and do that, the amount you get is $23.18, rounded off to the nearest cent. The GST that was included in the price of that dress was $23.18. See how the same method, using ratios, can be used to go from one percentage to another, even without first calculating the original 100% amount? Let's do another example of this, part from part. If you visit England and buy a souvenir, you will be charged 17.5% VAT, or value added tax, which is the English equivalent of our GST. You can claim the VAT back if you take the object out of the country when you leave. Suppose you buy a toy London bus for £7.50. How much can you get back? Well, the original price was 100%. But do I have the original price? No, I've got the price I paid for it, which includes the VAT. What percentage is that? It's 100% plus the 17.5% VAT, which makes it 117.5% of the original price. OK, what percentage do I want? I need to work out how much I can get back when I leave the country, which is the amount of the VAT, or 17.5%. So, how do I go from 117.5% to 17.5%? Multiply by the new number over the old. So, do the same to the price on the other side. 7.5 times 17.5 over 117.5 gives me 1.12, £1.12, rounded off to two decimal places as usual. Be careful with your calculator. Remember, make sure you do this in one calculation. Don't round off that fraction or you'll get the wrong answer. The VAT I can get back on my souvenir is £1.12p. And that's how to use ratios to solve total from part and part from part percentage problems.